Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. In order to mitigate the huge connectivity deficit of eastern Nagaland and remote districts, about 500 kilometers of highways and a north-south corridor between Mon and Avanku and east-west corridor connecting Twensang Nokla Kifre and Zonopoto to Dimapu will be constructed. This was stated in a press release issued by the BRO to the Governor of Nagaland. The release informed that following the approval of these highways, the National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation has begun preparation of the detailed project report, DPR. It said these highways will be the game changers for the people living in remote districts. The release further stated that Minister for Road Transport and Highways, Nitin Katkari, has assured Nagaland Governor R.N. Ravi of fast-paced progress on all the road projects in the state. A total of 41,099 doses of Covishield has been administered across Nagaland till date. Informing this in a press release, Director of Health and Family Welfare said 759 senior citizens in the age group of 60 years and above have been vaccinated. 76 beneficiaries with specific comorbidities between 45 and 59 years have also received a first dose of the Covishield without any report of adverse effect needing medical intervention. It stated that vaccination will continue for the citizens across all notified COVID-19 vaccination centres. Meanwhile, State Immunisation Officer Dr. Ritu Tour has said that left-out frontline and healthcare workers will continue to get vaccinated across all session sites along with the age-appropriate high-risk groups. Dr. Tour further said that eligible beneficiaries can get registered online through gowin.gov.in. Vice President M. Bangaya Naitu has stressed the need to ensure that science and technology improves the quality of people's lives. He said technology advancement is a key decisive factor in the development of a country and youth can play a transformative role when they are properly skilled, motivated and given the right opportunities. Addressing the 6th Institute Day celebrations of the Indian Institute of Technology in Andhra Pradesh yesterday, Naidu said more attention should be given to build a stronger academia industry connection to increase the employability of engineering students. Union Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank has congratulated 12 Indian institutions on securing a position in top 100 in the QS World University rankings by subject 2021. These institutions are IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, IIT Kharagpur, IISC Bangalore, IIT Kuwati, IIM Bangalore, IIM Ahmedabad, JNU, Anna University, University of Delhi, and O.P. Jindal University. Addressing the gathering at the unveiling of the rankings, Pokhriyal said the government's continuous focus on improvement and reform in Indian higher education has resulted in significant improvement in the representation of Indian institutions in globally acclaimed and reputed rankings like QS. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will receive the Sera Week Global Energy and Environment Leadership Award today. He will also deliver the keynote address at the Cambridge Energy Research Associates Week 2021 via video conferencing. Sera Week was founded in 1983 by Dr. Daniel Yerkin. Sera Week Global Energy and Environment Leadership Award was instituted in 2016. It recognizes the commitment of leadership on the future of global energy and environment and for offering solutions and policies for energy access, affordability and environmental stewardship. Nagaland Board of School Education will be organising an online programme to empower women PE teachers and community sports coaches in the field of physical education under the ages of Fit India movement. NBSC has informed that a program is being organised to commemorate International Women's Day, which will be observed on 8th of this month as directed by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. It said a program would provide an opportunity for women teachers to learn from the best trainers in the world in the field of physical education. And as the nation fights COVID-19 pandemic, let us all remember to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, wash hands frequently with soap and water, or use hand sanitizer and follow social distancing norms. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.